What do you do when your partner misses a fish? He's fishing a worm and he gets a bite and he sets a hook and he misses it. What do you do? What do you do when he's throwing a spinnerbait out there and something runs out there and grabs it and he jerks and spinnerbaits come flying back by the boat and he didn't hook it? What do you do? Good morning, guys and girls. August 31. That's right. We shot the covey again. We shot the covey on another month. August, August 31. You know, the good thing about it, even though it's hot, still hot in Oklahoma, you get out about September 15th, things start to really change. So we've only got a couple more weeks. We still have a, some 100 degree days, perhaps in September. You never can tell. Sometimes we have several. Sometimes we don't. Uh, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel. We've got a fishing tip on here for every single day. Got a scripture from the Word of God. And we have a devotional that I wrote about fishing. And uh, we post these every day, 5 o'clock Central Time. On YouTube, the channel is called Catch a Better Life. We have three channels on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to all of them. Uh, Jimmy and Chris Houston's Twin Eagle Ranch. And uh, Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing, which is all fishing. Uh, if you're Facebook, Jimmy Houston Outdoors, all capital letters. We've got over 600,000 followers or on there and uh, over a half a million likes on, on Facebook also. So over a million people over there on Facebook alone. So if you're Facebook, uh, be sure and get on there. We post we post a script to them every day too. So you can read them and follow along. If you want your own copy of the book, you can get it at jimhouston.com, Bass Pro Shop, Barnes & Noble, Hobby Lobby, uh, Cabela's, just about anywhere books are sold. If you want one personalized autograph, get it at jimhouston.com. Let us know who you want it personalized to and I'll be happy to do that for you. Today we're looking at 2 Timothy 3.16. Not John 3.16, but 2 Timothy 3.16. Let's see what that scripture says. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God, and it's profitable. You could just stop right there, and that'd be a great scripture. And it's profitable for doctrine. It's profitable for reproof. It's profitable for correction, for instruction in righteousness. We all want to be righteous before Almighty God. See what I wrote about that. Some of us have hundreds of fishy lures. <laughs> some of us has thousands of fishing lures can we actually catch a fish on all of them can we catch a fish on all of those well if we live long enough you bet we can you bet we can the trick is using the right lure under the right conditions at the right time that's it right there all lures will catch fish we don't have to be using the best lure we have in every situation but every lure that we have will catch fish we had just had a, a pretty tight good type situation to use them on Paul was telling us, you and me, in today's scripture, that all of God's word is for good. Every single word. You know, we have New Testament churches these days. Some of them are New Testament churches. They never, they never have any sermons. They never study. They never, they never preach. They never do anything in the Old Testament. New Testament only. And I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. But, but Paul's telling us right here that, that, that every, and all of God's word's good. Every single word. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable. And is profitable. The word in this voice that I like is profitable. <laughs> you know, I'm a capitalist. I, I once heard a former president of ours say, now is not the time to make a profit. Can I tell you, if you're in business, any kind of business, and you don't make a profit, you're not going to be in business very long. That means that God's word will make us better off. That's what making a profit is. If you're a businessman, you make a profit, you're better off than you were. You'll have a little bit more money. He's not talking about financially here, though, although he will provide. He is profitable financially as well, but that's not what he's talking about. But it'll make us better off as people. It'll make us better off as husbands and wives. It'll make us better off as moms and dads and friends. God created us, you and me, to be exceptional people. He didn't create us to be average. He didn't create us to be ordinary. He didn't create us just to get by. He created us to be exceptional people, full of joy and full of happiness. That's what he created you and me to be. Whenever you feel down, whenever you have a problem, grab that Bible, grab that Bible, open it anywhere. Just open the thing. A third of the way through, halfway through, 90% of the way through, don't matter. Open it anywhere. God will do the rest. God will do the rest. Just open your Bible, put your finger down there, wherever your finger's sitting on, start reading that verse. Start reading that verse. That's the way God works. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, and instruction in righteousness. The more righteous we become, I believe the more God blesses us. I believe the more God blesses us. And we become totally righteous through the blood of Jesus Christ. We was talking about what happened <laughs> when your partner miss, misses a fish. What do you do? What do you do? Well, my tip is real simple. It's courteous to not throw at a fish that your partner misses. 
Now, I know a bunch of you, when your partner misses, and that spinnerbait comes flying back to the boat, before it gets back to the boat, your spinnerbait is right in there in that same place a lot of times. That's not being courteous, but I know that many, many people do it. I've had it done to me a million times. And yeah, I might have done it once or twice to a couple of my buddies, particularly Joe Hall or Wally Marshall. Yeah, 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 yeah. A Ross Cagle, a Red Berry, or or <laughs> or Bill Price, or on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> I've probably done it more than I should, but it's courteous not to throw back on that fish. Now, here's the deal. You give them one chance to throw back on it, it's fair game after that. Guys and girls, go out there and have, have you a great one. I'll have you a super day today. It's going to be fantastic, but it's going to be warm. Remember, I sure do love you.